Hi guys, uh, today's video is a very important video for your uh, learning about EGDIS and how to manually correct the electronic navigation charts which are there in your EGDIS database. Please watch the video till the end because I actually will go into the EGDIS and show you how to actually do the corrections. Today's video is uh, going to show you how to do the corrections in different ways so i will show you how to add symbols chart symbols to the electronic navigation charts um, how to add the symbols in two different ways one if you know the position and one if you don't know the position you know the exact location and you can put it there and in one you can put the gps latitude and longitude or the position of the correction i will also show you how to do the uh, text correction so let's say if you have added a, a submarine exercise or a firing exercise and now you want to write notes there how do you do that i'm going to show that as well today's video is not about the use of admiralty notices to mariners uh, that video i have made separately there are three parts to that video you can find the videos or the link to the videos in the description section below all right i am not going to teach you how to use the admiralty notice to mariners today's video is also not about the different methods of updating and correcting electronic navigation charts that's a separate video as well i have already made it you can find it in the description section below how what are the different ways of correcting and updating charts today's video is only going to focus on showing you the way to do manual chart correction i will take a couple of different examples and you will get the idea of how to do it all right so uh, remember if you want to learn how to use admiralty notices to mariners watch the other videos today's video is only showing going to show you how to do the manual chart correction on EGDIS. Uh, keep watching and i hope you enjoy it i look forward to your feedback so in today's video i'll show you guys how to add the manual chart corrections in electronic navigation charts so just zoom into the area where you want to add the correction in today's video i'll take the example of a pilot vessel or a light vessel that i want to add so just go to chart go to chart types go to the database that you want to use manage database and then select update and then you can select update manually because you'll be making manual corrections and select object type to add when you select object type to add you get a list of all the EGDIS symbols that you can use for correction so i am choosing the buoys and beacons and i've chosen the light vessel or the pilot vessel rather then just go to add object and you can see that the object will be added here i have just clicked so you can see once I click apply, the object was added. But now I'll show you how to add the object if you want to add it by the latitude and longitude. So you do the same that you did before. Go to select object type to add. Again, you choose the vessel you want to. So I have chosen a light vessel to add. And then I will show you later on how to. So again, you select you can go and select the particular latitude and longitude as will be given to you in the admiralty notices to mariners so you can see here i am going to put the latitude and longitude and sometimes we make mistakes in putting latitude and longitude so if you keep seeing the video you will see that the student takes a couple of attempts to finally get the latitude and longitude correct uh, but uh, while he is doing so i'll explain again that there are two ways to manual corrections one is if you know the position exactly you can just click the cursor where you want to add the correction the second method is you can put the specific latitude and longitude which is the most popularly used method because when you get your admiralty notices to mariners you will have to manually put the corrections in a particular position gps position or rather uh, latitude and longitude so you will have to add the correct latitude and longitude and then add the correction there so you will see now the student will get it after a couple of attempts he has understood that uh, he was making an error in inputting the latitude and longitude so i did that intentionally i kept this recording intentionally to show you that uh, mistakes can be made so make sure that you are very 
careful while you are writing the latitude and longitude and you do so correctly do not forget the north south east or west as well and once you get the latitude and longitude down pat you will see that when he will click uh, then you will see that the light vessel will be now inserted in a new position it will be another light vessel which will be inserted in a new position which is as per my latitude and longitude so now that the latitude and longitude has been inserted you will see we will put end edit or end insert and edit and there you go you see the new vessel is now been added so i have showed you both ways of doing so now again go to chart and if you go to manage notes and uh, you can actually write notes there if you want to write something all right so you've got all this list of things you can do so you can go and list and create notes and again with notes as well you can put it at a particular latitude and longitude or you can write it where you want it to be all right so just go into this and then go to text notes and then you can see here you can write the note in the comment section whatever you want to write and then you can put the position in the latitude and longitude just like we did before and then click on end insert and that note will be inserted so let's say if you have a comment to make about firing exercises or navy exercises you can write the comment there after inserting the symbol and that will be the way to do the correction after you make the correction or before you make the next correction if you want to see whether the chart is updated or not go to chart chart types go to manage and then go to review updates if you go to review updates you can see the last correction that was carried out so when i click to review updates you can see here the list of corrections will be available here so of course in today's video i have just made one correction so you can see the couple of corrections the two light vessels i've added have been included here so if you either want to delete this uh, uh, or you want to review it you can do it here you will find out what corrections were made last and you can delete it so you see i have selected the one correction and i am going to select click on reject manual update and that will delete my previous correction so if you are updating charts you can go into this section here and find out what was the last correction done if you have say temporary or preliminary notices which you want to delete after a while you can go in here and delete the notices as well so here you can see i'm going one by one selecting the correction and clicking on reject manual update all right uh, that is the way you go and review updates and you can delete them or you can review them to know whether your charts are updated with the recent corrections or not one more thing i want to tell you is that i will show you later on as soon as you add a new symbol you will see i'll show that to you right now if as soon as you will add a new symbol how you can distinguish between the new symbol and that was already there in the chart so if you go to you see I'll, if i go to uh, the new symbol you will see as soon as i add the symbol there will be a red, red line beneath it a red vertical line beneath it so that red vertical line beneath it will show you or rather it indicates that it is a object added by you so you can see here i'm adding the object uh, it will again be a pilot vessel or a light vessel rather and when i select object type to add and i will select the light float vessel or light vessel uh, you will see as soon as the vessel will be uh, in the chart you see there will be a red vertical line beneath it so that red vertical line beneath it uh, indicates so you see red vertical line beneath that pilot vessel that i've added that indicates that it is a manual correction added by the user by you it doesn't come with the chart all right so this is the way you can do the correction so again i'll show you here you go to chart uh, and you go to manage charts and you can see that review updates you can again go and if you want to change it you can change it or you can delete it uh, or you can review the update but these are some of the ways it's pretty simple it's pretty straightforward you can also add the update as per the latitude and longitude or you can do it at a position if it's known to you so you can add both symbols and text uh, as you like it thanks